to be this price. Um, so today is the day to start moving things. So what I'm actually going to do is we're going to go through today, hopefully, a lot of questions and answers that any of you guys might have. Just getting up the um, the sheet here so I can see if any questions come in. Um, and hopefully anything at all that's been worrying you, been concerning you, that you're a little bit stuck on, or anything such as this, we will go through today. Um, and also I would suggest you on this video, um, because what we're going to do is obviously it's last day almost. Um, so it's the ideal time to go out and sell chat ammo for you guys. So the lifetime pricing um, is going to be ending tomorrow. Um, we've had a bit of a problem actually this morning, which I'll come on late on here, which is a little bit strange. Um, actually a problem with chat ammo of all, of all the things to go wrong today, just had to go wrong. Um, so we've been sitting, manipulating a little bit. And we've got a fair few new things that's coming as well. So obviously we've got the Groove Mail um, and full Groove integration, that's coming. Um, we've also got monthly payments, that's coming as well. Um, we've also integrated in payment zones, so we can now do deliveries and charge different amounts for different delivery places. Um, we're going to be doing monthly payments. I think I've already said that one. Um, we've also got upsells, downsells within our e-commerce store, so we're the only tap that can do that. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be completely going through um, everything that we have, what everybody else doesn't have. So this is kind of a money saving object, if you like. So what we're going to be doing is we've got the chat demo at this price right now, um, just before we actually go into Groove. I need a cigarette as well. I've got a bad hangover too, so you'll have to excuse us today. Um, so before we go into the bigger price with Groove, then what we're going to be doing is obviously as many people as what wants chat ammo at this um, ludicrously low price, to be perfectly honest with you, then you can get that uh, so that I've got a lot of testimonials. That's the only reason why we're selling it off nice and cheap at the moment. So excuse me while... Mm. So... We want as many testimonials as what we can do because obviously um, we love our software and we want to hear as much feedback about our software as possible. Um, therefore, we can make better software. Hiya, Hilton. How are we doing, mate? I've actually just I've just um, been looking for you on uh, my chatbot. Very strange. Um, weird, that. It's kind of first time, <laughs> first time I've had to look for a name. Um, which was actually caused the problem this morning. But I, we whole chatbot shut down. I've got no idea what happened, but I know your name popped up as one of the names affected and really, really weird. Um, so that's all fixed anyway. So we've got all that work working. We've got all the chatbots working. We've got everything working. We've got everything coming. Um, I want to pay me developers a lot more money because we've got a lot more stuff that we need to start degrading to get this, well, not only perfect, but a lot further on than what anything else could ever be. Now, obviously, we team up with um, Groove. So when we're doing Groove, then that means that you can now start publicizing to both Groove and um, and to the chatbot people. So you can go after people from many chat, you can go after realtors, you can go after affiliates, you can go after absolutely anything, because I'm going to show you the ways that we're going to work that, which is how come we've been wrestling about the membership site so much. Now, what I've done as well, I've also put a video, which should just be down below this video, in the group. Um, I don't know, yeah, it broke it. It's like when I went on, good morning, Susan. It's like when I went on um, Facebook ads, and I'm sure I broke that, there's loads of things popped up, and I panicked. I was no good at all. Um, so what I've done is I've put a little video down below so that you can actually add your affiliate link to these videos. Um, so down below it tells you exactly how to do it. I just basically go on to my YouTube channel, grab this video or grab it from my Facebook page. And once you grab the video, then you're all set and it's all looking lovely. Um, so let's share my screen and start having questions and answers and all this sort of business as well um, with any luck. And if I know the answers, I will tell you them. If I don't know the answers, we could have problems. Um, so let's see what we're doing. Right, so in the chat ammo. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through, hi, Rob, and we're going to be going through absolutely all sorts. So there's fairly few new trains that I've got on the way there as well. So I believe that this is one of them, um, which I have yet to record. Boom. Let's have a look. Is this the right one? Uh, yeah. So kind of, yeah, that's uh, the one afterwards. So what we've got is got a load of trains as well that's coming on. So we're going to be building the floors out and whatnot. So this is all about um, content. So when we're on trying to build an audience, then obviously one of the things that we need is a load of content. But we don't want to be sitting posting content all the time because that's all part of your sales floor. And if we're sitting posting content all the time, that means we're going to be stuck working and we don't really want to be working nonstop. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to join up all of your various different um, social media accounts. So we're going to have social posting and import social accounts. I'm hopefully getting a YouTube as well on here pretty shortly. Another thing that we've got them working on. Um, so that'll be coming up very shortly. So all you need to do is I want you to go out and get a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, a Reddit account, a Blogger account. If you've got a WordPress site, then that's perfect. We can also post that as well. And WordPress, I've hosted that with that one. 
and you've got your media accounts, right? Now, hopefully, we're going to have YouTube on there as well very shortly because I do like YouTube. Works an absolute dream. So all you would do, um, once we actually got the accounts together, click onto the various different accounts. So click on uh, LinkedIn. Why is it not going? There we go. And just import your account, right? So it'll go in and naturally import everything, and it's all sorted there, right? So all your blogger accounts. I haven't actually got a blogger account. Uh, WordPress, Medium, all the rest of it. Now, once we get all that done, then what it means is we can start then posting out to all of the various social media sites. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get as much traffic as possible um, to any of your offers. So we're going to use all of social media to do that. And obviously, we're also going to use Facebook and Instagram because they're completely automated. So let's say, for example, that we're going to do a multimedia post. All right. So we'll do campaign list. Right. So we've got any already in the campaign list, which we haven't. At least I hope not. And you just go in and make a post. It's that simple. Now, you can add these posts in, which what it means, it means you can have them for months in advance. Right. So you can spend one day doing all this, put all your posts in. And once you've got your post in, just let them run. Um. What I would do is I would research the best time to post as well. So look for wherever your country is that your target country is. So it's America. Look for various times in America and just simply check out um, the best times to post on Facebook. Right. I'm just going to use Google. Um, so best time to post on Facebook, Mondays through Fridays at 3 a.m. Tuesdays at 10 a.m. and noon. Best days to post on Facebook. Tuesdays through Friday. I, I've never understood why it's not a Monday. But Tuesdays through Friday, worst days to post is a Saturday. So the worst day I could possibly be doing this, and we're doing it. So the very worst day on Facebook is a Saturday. However, that doesn't make a difference to us because we can just set them all up. Now, another good thing that we've got in amongst this little lot, it means as well, so we can post the groups to Instagram. So obviously, I always post the groups. So once you've got one set up, once you've got one post ready to go, you can then share throughout your whole entire social media, right? So this means you're going to get more drag. But then what else you can do is once you've actually done this whole thing out and made the whole post, so let's just say we're going to have a quick one. Uh, so test. Um, this is a test post. Right. Um, posting time. We can post now or we can post it run. So we'll schedule a time. And this is the magic part. We can repost this as many times as we want. So what that means is we can repost this six times. And we're going to select a time. So we're going to repost it every six months, right? So every six months for three years, this will go up and it will post. So now you're actually building up a whole platform of more and more interest. So obviously, once you get the six-month period or the three-month period or how often you want to repost, then you're going to have an awful lot of content on your various parts. So it means you're not going to have to mess about trying to get all your content sorted. Mm. How many bloody cigarettes went out? Right. So... It means we get an awful lot more eyes on our offers. So it's kind of really cool. Now, I don't know if anybody's got any questions. What I'll do is I'll keep on coming back to this um, so I can see any questions that you guys might have. Uh, any questions at all today, I'm going to be answering a whole lot, hopefully. <laughs> right. So you've got your groups, you've got your pages. So what I would do is I would copy this. I would then go on to my pages. I would pick a page. I'll just say this one. Oh, I could pick all the pages. So we've got 127 pages here. I can post the whole lot all in one go, and I'll just post it back in. So it's that cool. This is great, John. I hate the amount of time I've spent. I know there's nothing worse. I used to actually, um, for all of my tattoo shop posts, we used to um, go out and manually post them, and it used to drive me nuts. Because um, it used to take days, and all the tattoo artists weren't very good at posting their own work. So what I then done was I went out and I bought Hootsuite, um, which is an amazing bit of kit. Um, so Hootsuite. Um... No, hoopy sweet, right? So hoop sweet, and let's have a look at the pricing, right? So this is what we do on ours, right? So if you were to get hoop sweet, which would replace what I've just said done, there and uh, choose the right plan, right? So you get a free thirty day trial, and then you are looking at thirty nine dollars per month just for hoop sweet, right? So you've got ten social media profiles. Well, we've got as many as what you've actually paid for, so that's not a problem. Um, you've got one user, you've got limited scheduling. Yep, got that. Got bulk scheduling. Yep, got that. Social inbox. We have, yes, we've got that. Um, content calendar. Yes, we have that. Analytics and reports. We have all that. Export reports in PDF. Um, I don't know if we have that one. Um, we're hoping to add Pinterest. Yes, uh, we're trying right now. Actually, on Pinterest, it's becoming a bit of a, a bit of a pig. Um, it's a little bit like Google trying to get their bloody API keys. 
Um, they just torture us. They're not getting back to us. Um, so we're having a little bit of trouble, but we've got one of our developers on to them right now. So that should be hopefully all cool. Um, and you've got support because obviously you've got me. Um, we don't have a $400 ad spend for social boost because we don't need one because I'm going to show you how to do everything organically. Um, so that's just Hootsuite. So that's just that little part there, what I've been going through there. So that's the same as what Hootsuite is. But obviously, we've got a lot more accounts, so we can have absolutely anything that we want. Um, I'm going to have all the various different um, social media accounts on there. So we can have LinkedIn, Twitter, and all the rest of it, what I've just been going through. Right, so that's the first part that we've got. So that's Hootsuite. Um, next, what we have is we have, we'll say, ManyChat. Um, ManyChat pricing. Get it? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Right, ManyChat pricing. Info from free to pro. Right, so obviously we've got the same chatbot as what they have, or very, very similar to what they've got. Now, what they've got is $15 per month um, to become a pro. Um, you get the advanced features, which you get on ours anyway. Uh, you get all of these. We don't have WhatsApp. Well, we do for ordering. Um, we don't charge for SMS messages. They charge a top-heavy amount. And we have email built in. Right, so let's just have a quick look at these pricing. So for 500 people... Um, you're looking at $15 for the pro version, which is what you need, really. 3,000 people, you're looking at $45. Uh, when we get up to, we'll say, 16,000. So 16,000 subscribers on your list, which will bring you in a very nice amount of money, um, 16 times $7 per month per subscriber. Um, then what you'll be looking at, you'll be spending $125 with many chat, right? And then you're going to have to get... So let's just go through our many chat features. Um, so our many chat features are where are we at today. I'm actually not switched on at all yet today. Um, right. So, oops, I'm going to press the wrong bit. Right. So our many chat features. Now, many chat. One difference that we do have is they build downwards, and um, the same as Chatmatic. So where you see their floors that all build down, we don't actually build down. We build across. So it's quite cool. So let's just have a quick look at the floors. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, so Sean McMarketing. Remember, you can share this video as well, guys, to get yourself some affiliate sales. So our floors go just straight along, right? So we have all of them and they go exactly where they're meant to be. So it means that we don't have all of these columns going down. We can see the whole lot and we can zoom out, we can zoom in and all this sort of business. And this is just a really simple floor. So obviously we've got all of our scheduled events, which help on the selling. Always make sure you've got scheduled events afterwards. Um, and all of these just go straight into the whole sales thing and as i say we're going to be adding a monthly payment system on here as well which means you can now start charging directly into your chatbot for um the likes of uh, membership sites anything like this any sort of consultation work that you do um if you work as an agency you can put the agency straight in here and they can pay you every single month straight through your chatbot and straight to stripe so we don't know that's about with um paypal because let's face it, we don't want to be paid monthly off PayPal because they will block your account. They like doing that sort of thing. Right, so going through the bot flows, what we have is we have bot keyword settings. Remember, you do all that just in the flow. So it's really simple. Uh, you've got your postback manager. Now, your postbacks are really important. Your postbacks is basically where you can bring anybody in to your floor at any point. So I like to think of my floors as a major motorway. And all the way down this motorway, we have pull-offs that are different money things. Right, so whereas we have a funnel with one outlet with our chat flows and the funnels, what we can do is we can take them down the motorway to whichever point they want to get off at. So, if they want to study more about marketing or they want to study more about um, e commerce or they want to study more about email marketing or something such as this, then we can take them off at exactly that particular point. So, it means we're not messing about with funnels, we're not giving them loads of choices, we're actually leading them exactly down the path that they want to go to. So, it means we've got a lot more action that we can take. So we've also got the Get and Start settings, so we'll put our welcome message in here. And we also have icebreakers as well, both on Facebook and Instagram. Um, so that's pretty cool. I must admit, though, it's not something I tend to use an awful lot because I like prefer to get them down the floor um, rather than using icebreakers. But you can use your icebreakers, send them straight to wherever you want them to go if you're doing a simple flow. So next, you've got your general settings, which is all of your various integrations. So you've got your MailChimp, your Send in Blue, your Active Campaign, your Mortic, your Excel, your SMS integration. Remember, we can select which. Um, API we have for SMS. We have the SMS reply message. We have the email integration. So this is your SMTP. Wait you and add your own. So we just go in here and we would select an API. Um, you've got the email reply response, the SMS sequence integration. So you can integrate the whole lot there. Um, and email sequence integration. So we have the whole lot all here. 
right? So we don't need to mess about with that. Now, the advantage of this is if you're using SMTP, then what it means, it means that if, well, first off, you're never going to get your account banned from us because you're using, obviously, SMTP. Now, SendGrid is actually pretty good. Um, I do like SendGrid. However, um, it's what ClickFunnels use. And the biggest advantage to it is if SendGrid ever decides that they're going to block your account, then all you do is you switch straight over to another one. So I think we've got Amazon in there. We've got a few others in there. Now, a thing that I love as well, which will get me integrated here. Sorry, this is how to uh, share the link to make yourself some money. So promotion link. Go down here. Uh, click on custom landing pages and add my video. In. Right. So that would be really simple. Now, the bit I love, I'm just going to go through this as well. Because once it's integrated, this is going to be game changing. Right. Now. As you can see, the open rates are shocking. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to bum, 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 automations. I'm not we're going to go to where are we at. Um, I've forgotten where I'm at for you today. Right. So let's have a quick look. Forms, no. Where am I looking for here? Senders. Right. <clears throat> so what would actually do with this, this is where I think this is one of the biggest things that Groove's actually done really, really well. So your Groove SMTP might not be um, activated as yet, right? If it's not, don't worry about it. If it is, awesome. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have this fully integrated. Now, the best thing about this is, right, is you've got the Groove SMTP. If not, you can use your Mailgun SMTP. You can use SendGrid, you can use SparkPost, and you can use Amazon, right? This means your account could never be banned, right? And Groove's not going to ban you anyway because, obviously, they know all about affiliate marketing. But with this added in there as well, it means that you can't really get banned. So you've now got all of these various bits. Now, the biggest advantage with this is, so obviously you've got SMTP on ours as well. Um, so if you didn't want to use Groove, but the biggest advantage to having these various um, SMTP bits is let's have a quick look at active campaign, campaign um, pricing. Oh, I've still got an active campaign account. Um, I'll actually take more people off mine. Right, so pricing and features. And we are looking at, bum, 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 right, 500 contacts. If I'm doing professional, it's going to cost another $149 per month. So that's $39 per month on, we're looking at $300 here, um, plus 39 for Hootsuite, right? So we'd sign up with this professional one. Um, we've got 500 contacts, but as soon as we start building the contacts, we start looking at some pretty serious money. Now with Groove, you get 25,000 contacts, right? Which would cost you 549 per month. All right, but five four nine per month is a lot of money. Um, it's quite shocking. Now that's if you use Groove and you've paid Groove, then I think you get twenty five thousand. Now send grid. Um, pricing, pricing. This is what you could use as an alternative. Um, if you were using either mine or Groove, if yours isn't already activated. So we've got send in blue. Let's just check out send grid. So you got try for free, right? And then you've also got um the various different plans, right? So the essentials plan, which is pretty decent. Um, empower your business with fundamental email features, right? $15 per month, right? So that's what you could use instead of going out and forking out for active campaign or something like this, right? So you can just use SendGrid, put it all in there. Your free is actually pretty decent. Um, integrate, list, fast, and explore features with 100 emails per day forever. Well, that's not bad. Um, unless, of course, you've got a, a big email list. But 100 emails per day, that will get you started pretty decently. So you can add that whole SMTP into our chatbot. Or you could go with this, um, 549. I do love active campaign. If you've got 25,000 contacts, you're going to be looking at around about $25,000 per month. Um, you should be making that's on a normal floor, right? So it is good, but it's expensive. So personally, I would either use the chat ammo one or I would use um, the... Groove one, right? Because as soon as Groove's automated, as soon as it's switched on for you, you have it. Um, it's all there. It's all good. Right. So that's um, so that's about $300 so far um, on our software. Right. Now, keep on going. What we have is... Um, bum, bada, bum. Right. We've got this flow. <clears throat> so that's some of the other stuff that we've got. Now, we've also got these API channels, right? Now, not everybody's set up the same as mine. So you might not see these payment in your... API channels, you might see it into your um, in your e-commerce store. But let's just go through them a little bit. Right, so your payment APIs. What we actually have is we decided that we want this to work worldwide. So we've also got all the different languages in here as well. Right, So you've got an absolute stack of languages which you can pick from. So what happens with all of the chatbots is you basically have PayPal or you have Stripe. 
right? And that's the only two choices. So if you're trying to sell outside of <clears throat> um, America, Europe, Canada, Australia, things like this, then you're going to be pretty much stuck because not a lot of people can get this um, in other countries, so second tier countries. Um, so what we decided to do was we decided to go out and get the very best um, payment providers of all of various different bits. So we have all of these payment providers in. Or we have manual setup and we can also take cash, right? So it means that you've got everything all there in one dashboard. So it means you're not messing about no more with the various different trying to get payments from Africa and India and things like this where it's just about impossible. Um, but if you can set up a Molly account, um, so if there's an affiliate I've got over in Africa, he can have a Molly account he can sell to ammo, he gets paid for to ammo, and then he sends me the money. Right? Really, really simple. Um, so that's through Molly and Razor Pay and all this sort of thing. Um, now you've also got your social media integrations, which we've already been through. Um, so they're all cool. So that's like your hoot suite. And we've got the email autoresponder integration. So we've got MailChimp, um, which I don't like. Um, now I've got really, really bad thing about MailChimp. MailChimp, I built up an email list. I think I had about 50,000 on my email list. Um, and it was going great. And it was working a treat. I was getting no, I was getting good open rates as well. And then what MailChimp decided to do was they sent me, they sent us an email out saying that my account had been um, suspended and was due to close and get my list off there straight away. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm making my email list. And when I'm making an automation, it takes me ages to get the damn thing done. So it's like flowing in the right way. Half my floors at the minute that's in Groove aren't fully finished floors. I need to get back in there and get them all finished. But... What it meant was I then had to switch from MailChimp and I switched to, I can't remember, it might have been, um, it might have been being sending blue. And I then rebuilt the whole email list again. I rebuilt the whole flow again and the barters again with exactly the same, exactly the same letter. Um, so I got banned from these two different things. And every time I was able to go out and write a different, it, it was driving me mad, which is how come we started integrating the whole thing into ours because these are various bits that got me annoyed. Um, like I say, we do. I do use Active Campaign. Um, Active Campaign is being great for us. Now we've also got your JSON API connector, right? Now what this will do, this will go in and it'll connect most of the programs, right? So name your connector, please select a page for your collector, and webhook URL, right? Now if this has been really easy. This is the way we would have attached um, Groove. However, Groove has three um, webhook URLs that we need all three to fire at the same time, so it's turned a bit of a nightmare. But what you can do is you can add various different uh, URLs and webhook URLs. So you can take them for Zapier, from anywhere else that's got um, APIs. And then what you can do is you can check which field actually fires this off. So you could have an automation going out for absolutely all sorts. Whoops, you bugger. Um, you know, you can, uh, sorry, Christian. Yes, you can promote the, um, just basically either one, whichever one you want to do it on. You can just um, click whichever one because both those prices are both ending. Um, Bum, 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 tomorrow. Uh, so tomorrow night, the price will all be changed. I will be making up a, a new page and things like this. I've just spilled my coffee all over the place. So yeah, you can promote whichever um, chat ammo you want, either through funneltemperates.net forward slash JV pages or chatammo.com forward slash JV page. So you can have whichever one of these trigger um, to do whatever sort of action. So if you've got your own particular software and you have an API key with it or a web URL with it, you can add it straight in here and you can get Zap you to go out and do magical little things, which is what Zap you tends to do. And you can choose which date you want to send. So you can have subscri subscribed app, post back, view back data, first name, last name, email, um, user input data. Actually, that's a good point. Just thought of something we might be able to do here. Um, page ID, page name, phone number, birth date, location, and labels. So we have all of these various different bits, which is pretty damn awesome. I love the API connector. Right. <clears throat> um, so going back again, we also have. Uh, full integration with WooCommerce, right? So let's go to integration and um, go all the way down here. Actually, I've missed out the SMS. But we've also got full integration with WooCommerce. So if you've got a WordPress site and you want complete WooCommerce integration, so cart abandonment, uh, product import, we can do that whole thing. So we can import all of the products straight from our WooCommerce store, straight to our chatbot. It is awesome, right? Um, you've got your SMTPs, like we have saying before. So you've got uh, SendGrid, MailGun, and Mandrill. Right, um, out of those, I would recommend SendGrid about the most. Um, although I am hearing really good things about Mailgun as well, but I haven't used it, so I can't really say. Now, we've also done the same thing with SMS. So, what we decided with SMS is we didn't want to just give one. So, you'll see most of the other um chatbot providers and things like this will provide you with Twilio. Right now, Twilio is excellent, um, and I do recommend Twilio if you're in a country where Twilio is the cheapest. 
If you're not in a country where Twilio is the cheapest, do not use Twilio. Um, you can use any of these that's already in here. So you can use Pivot, Pivlio or whatever it's called. Clickatel, Planet, Nexmo, um, Messenger 91, Africa's Token, Semi SMS and Root SMS. Or if you have a mobile phone plan that includes free SMS and they give you the various different things on it, what you can do is you can add your own um, custom API. So you can add your own uh, SMS provider, which is pretty cool. Um, I did quite like that one. So obviously I would recommend um, this one, Twilio. It's around about the best and you pay, I think it's about um, 0.5 pence or something like this per message that you send out. So it's, it's almost next to nothing. Now it depends what sort of marketplace you're in, if you want to use SMS marketing or not. Um, if you're a coach and things like this, then yes, I would definitely use SMS marketing. If you're doing webinars, or 100% use SMS marketing along with your messenger marketing because you want as many people on your webinar as possible. So you can then go out and you can SMS everybody, say the webinar's about to start, and you're going to get a massive show rate. Um, Chatbots are amazing for webinars, like unbelievably good. Now, we've also got all your training in here as well. So your training, we go into this little lot, and we have all sorts in here. Now, what you're going to see is some of this is going to look as though it's locked, right? So what I've actually done is I've drip fed some of it. So that's how quick I've got, got. So we have the digital market and stuff. That one's locked at the moment because I haven't unlocked it yet, which I need to get done. Um, so we've got day one, day two, day three. Now, this is going to be, if you imagine one funnel away challenge on steroids, right? We're going to take the one funnel away challenge framework and we're going to build it out completely for sales flows. So rather than you having to go out and pay $100 for one funnel away and then get to the £25,000 inner circle and all this sort of thing, we are going to be doing the whole lot within Chatamo. So you're going to have it there all of the time. Now, the thing that I've actually put together on this, um, is this one? No, that one. Um, your resistible offer. Let's have a quick look. So what I've actually done as well on page.io is I want the training on this to be better than ever. All right. Um Two seconds. I'll just turn off this uh, share thing in case somebody malicious wants to do something horrible. Um, so what I'll do is I'll send it to one page just so I can show you guys. So Mac. Um, bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. So what we've got is inside of this. Oops. How to actually put the correct one in? Right. So I'll log in with email. Right. I'll share that again. Uh, so what we actually have in our one pager. Yeah? is we have the various different parts of it, right? So on our one pages, we have, um, let's have a look, let's go in collections instead. So digital market manifesto, all of these trends, this means that we're gonna give you cheat sheets for every day. Now, the reason why I want to do these cheat sheets is I seen Russell Brunson doing something very, very similar and it works an absolute treat, it is beautiful. So what you can do is you make yourself your own cheat sheet and then every day you're building out a whole panel, a whole pattern of what you can go and work on. Um, so. The first one is Digital Market Manifest. I think this is the first one. Right, so this one right here, it takes you through the fair few different questions. So welcome to Market Manifesto. Who's your dream customer? What's the ultimate result of the funnel we create for your dream customer? What are the different steps that create help somebody get the ultimate result? Which step is the sexiest? And would serve you best? That needs sorting out. Um, bum, 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 sexiest and... Right, would serve you best. Um, we've got what is your product? What is your byproduct? Could you offer it as an order bump? Right, because I want a great order bump for you guys as well. So I want you to be able to go out and spend money on your ads, but recoup that money straight away. Right, so we're not messing about with no sort of half measures. Um, so we want to be able to recoup the money immediately. So once this is all done, what we'll actually probably do is sell this whole thing as a course as well. Um, but obviously, if you get your ammo, you can get this for free. So you don't have to worry about the paid course thing. Um, how can you create your done for you version? So this is how we can do our upsells. Uh, how could you create? Done for your version. Well, I've done that twice. Um, right. Want to win the game a little bit faster. So we have the perfect client avatar. Um, your opt-in lead magnet. So that's the lead magnet that I'm going to give to you guys to get people on your list. Why have I done it this way? It's very strange. Uh, so this was my first one I ever made. So it's um, a little bit not quite as good as the rest of them. Right. So that's your first page. Right. We've then got um, the other ones, which is down here. So we've got day two. So first off, we're setting up what client we want to get, and then we're deep diving into the whole client. So day two is, bum, 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 um, it's all about, yeah, your steps and the particular sexy step, how to pick your sexy step. 
Day three is your resistible offer. Day four is your Facebook domination starts here. I love day four. And day four is all about how to automate the entire thing. And this is all in your um, in your membership site, right? So that's all coming as well. So I need to unlock these ones. We've also got a um, affiliate market mastermind. Now this one, I only went to day 10 because, and this one drip feeds every day. Um, but I only went to day 10 because what I thought was, I'm doing the whole affiliate marketing thing, whereas this training will work an awful lot better and it'll work for every niche. So rather than like niching all the way down to affiliate marketing, I'm giving you the overall view of how to do any sort of marketing at all. Now, launch jack and offers. Um, I need to unlock all these as well. What the hell am I doing? Um, so all these what needs unlocking. So you've got the secrets, launch jack and success. Why launch jack? Get an organized high level. Find a good offer, your bonuses, turn a product into an offer and make a review. So all of these will show you how to go out and dominate on the likes of Moonshine, things like this. So next we've got the chatbots. We're all about them in the end. They're all in there. And other autoresponders. We've got payments. So I hope you get all your different payment gateways going on. Um, we've got your comments growth tools. So these are all the various different comment growth tools. Now, all of these are all basically how-to videos, which is another reason why I'm doing the um, one page and the full training, because I don't know about you, but whenever I get sort of how-to videos, I can't really put them into context of, okay, well, how would that work for my business? And so this is what I'm actually doing with these one pages. So I'm making it so that you guys can see exactly how it worked in your business, exactly what you would want it for in your business. And so then you can actually go in and do the whole business thing. And you're going to know exactly what your strategy is. Um, so if, if I was commanding an army and I said, right, you go over there and shoot him and you go over there and shoot him, they wouldn't know why they were doing it. Whereas if I said, right, listen, this is the plan. They're going to come over here. We're going to flank them. Then they would understand exactly what we're going to do. Same as a boxing match or a game of chess. Um, so I want to show you the moves that we're making, why we're making those particular moves, and why I'm asking you to do these various different things. So next, you've got your subscriber manager, your live chat, your Instagram, your Facebook, your Google Sheets, your broadcasting, your e-commerce. Oh, please go through this one because it's huge. Um, our affiliate product, there's going to be an awful lot of um, sales funnels as well I'm going to put in here too. Um, live stream software, which is the stuff I'm using. Right, um, which is Restream, so I, I like it. So I put in a couple of true toys on that because it's really good. Uh, restaurants, we've got a lot of stuff to go in there as well. We have some of the templates, so free website sales funnel. Get clients on Facebook. This is a local Facebook client page. Um, sales and marketing with chatbots, the Dan Kennedy swipes, uh, $100 million offers, uh, digital market manifesto volume one, that's just the book. We've got all Guru Funnel training in here as well uh, because I didn't want you guys to get stuck. Uh, we've got some more, more successful YouTube ads and sales funnels, right? Those are an extra minute, but I'm going to try and give them away as well. Um, so they're going to actually show you what other people's had success with on the various different places, right? So we can then see exactly what everybody else has done. So then we know what we can do better again. Right. <clears throat> so continuing down. Next, we've got our common growth tool. Now, this is another one, the massive important one. So as well as posting everything up and automating that whole thing, like you would with Huge Suite, then all chatbots come with a reply template. So when somebody leaves a message on your page, um, then all chatbots can go out and reply to that. So on Instagram, things like this, all of them can already do that. However, we've actually got comment templates as well. So what that actually means is when somebody leaves a comment, we can go in underneath them and leave a comment underneath. And what then happens is we get an awful lot more engagement because Facebook scores us higher. Because um, Facebook obviously goes off um, interaction engagement. So if we've got a load of comments underneath and we're replying to every comment and we're sending them a message and then we're liking them and then we're doing all this, Facebook loves that. And so this is where we're going to start building up a business page. Now, it's actually on day three or four, four. Um, so your business page is going to be one of your mainstays of the whole experience, right? Um, because what we can do with your business pages, we're not limited to what Facebook does on our personal page. On our personal page, we only allow 5,000 friends. I don't know about you, but at the minute, my friends list is getting pretty damn big. Um, so we've got 4.8 uh, thousand there, right? Now, if I'm sitting talking about money on this every time, what's going to happen is Facebook will block me. Um, and they'll put us in Facebook jail and it'll be all horrible. And I won't be, I won't be able to sell and it'll be a nightmare, right? It's another reason why I keep on telling you guys to build your list. So with a business page, and you're not limited to the amount of people that you can have on your business page. And unlike a group, which I love my group daily, but unlike a group, in my group, there's only my group members who can see the posts. Whereas on a business page, then everybody can see it. All I need to do is go out and promote that page a little bit and it's all done. And a little $5 ad 
if I wanted to, or just start the engagement things on there. And I can automate that entire thing. So I don't need to be going out and messing about. Now, the other greatest thing about the page is you've got your Facebook pixel. Now, your Facebook pixel is massively, massively important, right? Your Facebook pixel will retarget everybody who's actually come onto your website or come on your Facebook page or come on your Instagram. So what that means, it means that now you can then start retargeting these people left, right, and center, all right? So they're going to have a lot more engagement, a lot more things to do. So what we've got as well, because obviously we weren't just happy with being able to do all this, we wanted something that would get them even further. So we made up Interest Explorer. Now, would you believe it? I got banned off Facebook as well, but um, marketing things I wasn't supposed to market on Facebook. But this Interest Explorer, what it'll do, it'll find an additional 200 more in um, interests and interest targeting and things like this than what Facebook's own Explorer will do, right? So we go in deeper than what Facebook does. It's fully licensed, it's fully legal, and we're Facebook, um, Facebook partners, so we're allowed to do all this. Nothing's underhand or grey hat or anything like this. So you're not going to get your Facebook account banned or anything. Um, we can also do various different languages. So we're in the different languages here if we wanted to and we'll change the language. I won't change the language because otherwise I'm going to get. We haven't got Welsh down there. Nobody even speaks. I'm sure nobody. If anybody speaks Welsh here, do forgive us. I'm pretty certain we don't. Nobody speaks it anymore. Um, right next, you've got your subscription manager. Now, your subscription manager is another awesome tool. This means that what you can do is you can drag people in who's already wrote to your page. So I could drag in everybody who's wrote to um, Urban Inc., my tattoo shop. So we've got around about 10,000 followers on there. Um, we've probably got about 4,500, 5,000 email people that's wrote in, uh, messages. So I could import every single one of those in here. And the biggest bonus there is if I'm on the Facebook ad, and I've done this many, many times when I was running Facebook ads, when I run a Facebook ad, I will then send out a message to all my subscribers, right? So we're talking 5,000 people I would send a message out to within my um, tattoo studio. So imagine you're doing this for another business. So you make up an ad for them, um, you put the ad out live, then you start automating the ad, right? So you go to this um, bump, 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 comment go to, and you're going to automate all of the comments, right? So you can do it on ads as well, which is really important because ads are really difficult to find. You then write an email out to your list, right? So if you've got 10,000 people on your list, if you've got 100,000 people on your list, however big your list is, you can then write out an email, a message to them and send them all to that ad, right? Now, what Facebook's then going to see is they're going to see an absolute stack of people go up this ad and they're going to start seeing engagement on it. Now, to that, to them, this is awesome because all of a sudden Facebook is in the business of keeping everybody on their platform. So if you've got a lot of people going over to your ad, right, then straight away Facebook's going to drop the price of your ad down to minuscule amounts. Um, we've been, we were getting ads for... 0.1 pence so like no it wasn't even, it was zero right so zero pence and it was 0 0.1 so a tenth of a penny it was costing us per visit that we're getting on this ad and then we made the whole ad go viral as well because then we said leave a comment below um of no don't normally say this because it's obviously um clickbaiting but we're saying leave a comment below and nominate the person or nominate the person who you think deserves a tattoo for working really hard this year so they were then tagging somebody else it was then becoming viral because then the other person was coming in and tagging somebody else. And it just kept on going, right? And then we'll say, right, okay, well, to get another offer, we'll send them a little message out. If you want another chance to win a free tattoo, um, all you need to do is share this post. So people were sharing the post as well. It went absolutely ballistic. Um, you've never seen an ad like it. We had work coming in for the next two years on that one. It was just shocking. Um, it was so, so busy. It was so good. Um, and that was just a simple ad. It was nothing special at all about the ad. It was um, win a free two-hour tattoo. Tell us the tattoo that you want to want to have and nominate somebody who you think deserves a great tattoo. And that's what was getting us all working. And you could run that for restaurants. You could run for barbershops. You could run it for absolutely anybody. Um, you run it for your own business. With your own business, whatever your product is, you go out and say, right, okay, win a free one of my product. Um, all you need to do is like and share this particular post. Um, and... Boom, you've now got an absolute shed load of people, right? So you can even offer a free um, chat ammo account, right? Obviously, I'm going to very much time to run it um, for this lifetime pricing. But you could say, right, okay, win a free chat ammo account. Um, just to click and nominate the person on this. Click and nominate somebody. This would help, right? They'll go in, they nominate somebody, they think we're going to get something for free. Um, and then you pick a winner, and the rest of them are all now red hot leads that you've got within your whole messenger. So it's pretty damn good. And also when you post on your page, when you post onto your business page, you should also share it as well to your private page because then those people get pixeled as well, right? So you're going to get pixeled for everybody and then they could be re reaffirmed, remarketed to and all this little lot. And it's just, it goes really quite nice. So what we can do is we can um, have a label to them. So we can put whichever label we want in when we import them. 
Uh, we can go through whichever list that we've got. So we can have gender. We can do the various different ones. Then after we've got them all imported in, we can then migrate from page conversations as subscribers, which then means we can go out and broadcast to them. Um, sign labels to select subscribers, assign a sequence to them, and delete the subscribers. So if, before you do this though, one thing really important, anybody who doesn't want any more contact with your business, please delete them before you import them all on here. Because the last thing you want to do is send out a message to somebody who doesn't want the message, because then they're going to say to Facebook, I've been sent um, spam messages, and that's just bad. Uh, so that's another thing what we've got. So I've also got um system. This is mine uh, subscription, which is mine. So don't worry about those two. Next, you have your live chat. So this means you can go into Instagram or Facebook and begin a live chat with those two. So it means you don't have to mess about um, within your live chat. Now, live chat, I don't tend to use that that much. I tend to just be on Facebook because it's just it's easy. I don't really understand why we had it. Many chat had it, so I decided we need one as well. Right, um, we are currently playing our race day from the landfill. Right, uh, so next you've got your Instagram bot. Now, this one here again is not something I really use because I use just the main bot tool, but you have all sorts in here. So, you've got your bot reply, um, get started settings and icebreakers, your postback ID, um, and data management, create flow and custom source. Right, all of that, uh, is all in there, but it's easier just to go with Instagram right there, with Instagram. Change to Facebook. So that was actually Instagram that we're already into. So change to Instagram. We can now do everything within Instagram all in here as well. Now, one thing that we have got as well, it's on Facebook one. Right, so change to Facebook. Another thing that we've got in here, which nobody else has, um, to my knowledge, then we also have web forms, right? So what this means, it means that you can make a complete questionnaire up. So rather than people having to go through a whole chatbot sequence, um, so say, for example, I've used this quite a lot in real estate, and rather than having to go through a whole sequence, I would just go in and make a new form. So form name would have test. And form title, test. And we're putting this one. So sign label, so we can create a label as soon as I go in here. And then we select a reply. So remember, everything's re um, replied back from your postback manager. So you can add this to any single postback. So once they've submitted this, they can go on to the reply. So I'll just show you quickly what I used to use it for. So I used to put in the header in there. Um, I would then put in a text field. Right, so a header would be um, your new home. You have two separate bots, one for Facebook. Um, do you have to do, you, yes you do. Um, because Facebook and Instagram, even though they're the same, co even though they're the same company, um, they don't want sort of people to be doing it um, to be building up like too many bots all willy nilly. So they make you have to have a business page on your Instagram as well. So you've got to have a business page, which doesn't cost anything. Um, you've still got all the, there's no actual drawbacks from having a business page. And your business page has to be connected to your Facebook page. And then yes, you have to be two bots sadly. So your text field, um, so we'll just put in here, which area are you looking in? Right, and we're going to have it as text field, so we can have help text, or so name the area, um, close that. And then we'll have various different things in, like, this one, right? So, um, bum, bum, bum. so this one could be how many bedrooms? How many bedrooms? And we'll just do one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, and keep on adding options. So this means that when you're going out and you're working for a realtor or chiropractor or something like this, um, this makes the whole job so much easier because they don't have to go through the whole entire floor. You've got the thing, you can send them straight to it. And this actually comes with its own URL as well. So let's just have a quick look. Uh, close that. And you've got to put in your button, right? Important part. Without the button, you can't actually submit. So I'm going to save that one. Do I need anything from the button? No. Right. So I'm going to save that. And success, your form has been created. Now, all I would then do. So I'll go in here and I would actually go and view my form. And there we have a complete URL for your form, right? Well, we did out until I pressed the button. And so we've now got the URL for your form. And we've got all the reports for it. We've got all the export data. We can exit the form, edit the form, sorry, and we can delete it. So this means we can add a form directly into um, your um, Groove account, any of your websites, anything like this. We can send them directly to a form which means we've got a load more information again. So these are particularly good with you. You know when you've seen these um, 
tests where they say sort of, if you're this, then you're that and all the rest. These test things what people love to do. So this is another great way of getting people in there um, just by asking a questionnaire and then would you believe it? We've got the perfect thing for you. And obviously once I press subscribe and um, submit button, they then get a nice, um, message. So we've got them straight into our platform again. So we've also got our save templates in here and we've got an absolute stack of templates. So we have dental practices, uh, restaurants, lead magnet landing pages, restaurant owners sign up, uh, break news templates. Don't really know why I've got that one. Uh, food truck, uh, chatbot agency, business listing for leasing, beauty salon template, car rental template, coach booking, coach mentor booking, customer satisfaction, drugstore, e-book. Well, I've got an e-book in there. Um, e-book store, e-com store, e-commerce. Um, now, these e-commerce as well. When you think about e-commerce, I don't want you just to think of the basic kind of Shopify front because what you've got there is you're sending people away from your chatbot. Whereas when you're building the store in our system, and what you actually get, you've got it all inside of your chatbot. So you've got no messing about um, people are straight into your store. So you can have now a store on Instagram. You can have it on, um, on any of your pages. You don't need to go out and buy Shopify or anything like this because the store is an independent URL again, which we host for you because um, we're really nice like that. Uh, you've got flowers and gifts. You've got gym bootings. You've got gyms. You've got hotels. You've got laundry. Um, you've got a lot of laundries. Uh, you've got lead gen templates, market agency, medical center, mortgage broker, mortgage broker bot. Uh, two different ones. Uh, pet shop, pharmacy, real estate template two, rent a car, restaurant two, restaurant three, travel agent, travel agency, teeth whitening, uh, sell groove, real to use. This is the one I like for realtors. Uh, groove floor for messenger, uh, commercial real estate, Facebook ads, um, one that you can run straight away for them. That was a that was a sale I had on the time. I get rid of that one. Um, free real the landing page, so we can give away landing pages to realtors, which is how come I was making groove sales. Because I was sending them directly to a landing page that I made for them, and the people signed up for Groove, and then obviously they were upgrading. I've got real template for your QR code. Now, this QR code thing is really, really good. Nobody's using it. I don't understand why not more people's using it. Um, you'll often see QR codes on the shopping channels and things like this. But what they can be used for, they can be used for digital menus, it can be used for on real estate, uh, real estate, be used for outside. Any single product that you sell, you should have a QR code on that product in the packaging. So that you can get them back in the flow again. So that all of a sudden you're going to make more sales. So sales that we're really focused on. And this is an easy way for them to do because they might forget what your place was called. They've got a QR code that can scan. It's two seconds. And it's all built into phones now. Anyway, so you might as well use it. Uh, you've got commercial property, beer company, uh, restaurant demo, market notice, uh, bot to sell bots. I love that one. Uh, real, uh, onboarding, affiliate market and success, dentist full install, single home, groove funnels giveaway, uh, match groove, Slightly copied off somebody. Uh, restaurant review, Martin's bot. Uh, chat more lifetime messenger deal, them two the same. Uh, Davies food order and demo, chat bots floor, your local page. Um, your local page, this was the local page trainer done on Facebook. Uh, chat home and groove affiliate, and this is the one. Um, it's a big install, that one. Um, bum, 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 fed up with paying, other place, that's the same one. And affiliate training floor, right? So you can get all of these. You install a template, click on the button. And it'll ask you which page you want to do it to. And so we pick on there. And when you click install, it's actually going to say to you, the template has not been imported because there is an existing bot or previous um, in there. Now, there might not be an existing bot in there, but we've just put this in a little safeguard so that you're not going to go and overwrite one of your floors. You can only have one floor, <clears throat> one important floor in at a time. But there's a lot of different things that you can do to get different floors in. Right. Um, I think we went through that in another training somewhere. Right, so you've got all of that in your bot manager as well, right? So we're down to where we were up to. We were down to templates. Right, so next we've got uh, sequence messenger settings. This, again, I'll just build in the flow builder because it makes life a lot easier. Uh, we've got messenger engagement, really important ones. These are ones that I love, right? Um, this one here in particular, right? The center messenger is awesome. If you put this on the front end of your funnel, right, what you'll find is we were playing with it. I mean, I'm on playing with... Um, Groove mail, so I'm on trying to sort groove mail out so we can get it all working. So I haven't actually got a chatbot on my landing page, which is bugging the life out of us because I'm getting loads less sales than what I should be. Now, this one here, what you do is you put this on the front of your website. Now, what that then means, it means that when somebody comes in, you click this button here and it works exactly the same as what happens when you click the email. So when you put in somebody to collect their email, they put in their details and it goes on to the next page, the bridge page. Now, you've got this in place. 
we've now got their email at use for social media, which has been proven to give you 80%, and I was shocked at this one, 80% more sales if you have their social media email address. Don't know why. Um, probably because most people give out false email addresses or something very similar to that. But you get 80% more sales if you've got the social media address. And that's exactly what we're getting here. So we put in the domain where we want them to go to. So that's the domain that we land on. And we set all this up. So we'll put a little default button. Well, extra large because I don't like the little button. It's far too small. And you can put in what color you want to plug in. And then we're going to redirect to a different web page once we're in. So then you put in the web page what you want them to redirect to. So your second step in the funnel. So your bridge one. Uh, select a template, just put a template in, or you can put a brand new flow in there if you want to. Put a reference in there, because always have the reference, so know where they're coming from, and um, so you know which landing page have come from, so you know what they're sort of interested in. So if I had, say for example, in here, we had the full Groove and affiliate chatbot flow, I would have a landing page for um, affiliate traffic, I would have a landing page for chatbots, I would have a landing page for Groove, and I would direct all the people to all these various different landing pages using Google Ads go through as well if you want to do um so i would have all these different landing pages which would then send them all to these various different chatbots which would then mean i then know exactly what they want i know which journey to start taking them down and i know that we're going to loop back to on my journey but the thing that we want to do is we want to solve their immediate pain point if we can go out and we can solve their immediate pain point we've now got a lifelong customer um if they get what it is that we've got to offer they're going to be happy and so they're going to keep with you forever um which means that you've now got a lifelong customer who loves you a bit and you're starting to build up your fan base. So that's one of the ways in. Um, let's go back. Now we've also got, would help if I just clicked on it. Uh, we've also got, uh, bum, 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 bum. we have a checkbox plugin, which is a little bit more GDPR friendly, which means they've got a little tech little box and then click into it. Um, so again, it takes them to the next page. You've got your m.me link. Now that means you can put this link anywhere at all. Anywhere that you can put URL link, you can put your m.me link. One of the places I would suggest you put it um, is at the top of your page right here, right? So you click on this, always like have a pretendy button or something like this, and then put it right there, all right? So that will get them into the floor. Obviously, I'm just sending directly to my site because I want you guys to make more money. Um, so that's um, that a lot, right? So that's your m.me link. Next, you've got your customer chat plugin. Now, this is another awesome, awesome thing that everybody should be using. And I will explain why. All right, so you've got your, oh Christ, uh, funnel templates dot net. All right, so the basic thing that you've got, I thought I had a chatbot on here. Maybe I've disabled the chatbot for a bit. Right, no, I have got it. I can say it's strange. Right, on here, then what you've got is the way that Google ranks your website is they will always send people to websites that are relevant. And the way that the top to find out what relevance is your keywords, um, the content that you've got in there, the content matches, and links back, things like this. But one of the big ones that we've got, one of the biggest things that will actually change your website and make it start ranking really, really high is how long somebody spends on your website. Now, with a chatbot, obviously, they're going to spend longer because if there's something that this doesn't answer, which is another means going to make you more sales, if this is something that they want answers to immediately, they're going to start a chat. Now, all of this time that they start chatting, all the buttons that they click on your website, right, Google takes a massive amount of notice of, and they then boost your page even further. So everybody that comes on your site, one or two of them will click on this, which will help you rank your page better, right? So this should always be in your website. And to install it is really, really simple. <clears throat> so let's we'll say we're going to install one of those. I'll just do classic. Um, otherwise, I could build a floor, or I could do a campaign list, right? So we'll just do classic nice and quickly. Right, so we're going to have the domain. So we'll just put this one here. Uh, language, English, boom, ba boom. Do I want to show the chatbot when it's loading? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, loading delay. I don't know what loading did on there. Uh, do not show if not logged in. Um, greeting text if logged into Facebook. Greeting text if not logged into Facebook. Um, select the template that's going to start us. All right, so I'll fill out all these bits. I say I don't want to let us in bed. No, nope, because I'm going to have to put something in there. Right, uh, so let's just do this nice and quick. Select template, that one. Um, generate bed code. Will I fill that enough? Right, here we go. So it actually tells you here exactly where to post in the event code as well. So copy the code below and paste inside the body tag at the very or at the very last of your web page. So if we go into Groove, uh, <laughs> right? So if we go to Groove, I know Angel, I love asking 
load of questions. Okay. Right, so we've got it, Groove, and we're now a builder here. Hopefully, if Groove's going to let us into the builder, all the joy. Right, so wait for it to wind up. We have my internet to come on. It's because I'm doing it live at the same time. What you do is you click on a pages, right? Click on edit page, or you could click on settings if you want the same chatbot on every one, but you can put a different chatbot. So on this one, you've got edit settings. You go down to your body and you paste that code right in there. That's it. That's done. Click on save, click publish, and that's it on that one particular page. Now, if you want them the whole lot, you just go into site settings. Again, you come down to page and including body and bang it right there. And that's it now all over your entire website. So it now means you get more engagement through um, Google as well, right? So Google's now starting to love your website page. And it's got interactions straight away so people are on there longer, which means you're going to get cheaper ads as well. So not only are you going to start getting ranked, but you're going to start getting cheaper ads. And this all goes along with the likes of the various parts of um, Groove where you can start manipulating the pages so you can start putting all the various bits in. Now, one thing I would say as well is while you're in Groove, and if you've got your unlimited account, um, if you were lucky enough to get it when it was on free, or it was on a low price. And what you can actually do is you can buy a lot of different websites and then you can have all your websites all interlinking with each other, which is then going to start building the credibility of each website because they're all starting to link together and all work. So I can start leading traffic into, well, I would actually go out and I would score one of the sites really, really highly. So I'll get a load of link backs. I'll get a load of various different things. So that particular site would rank high and it would get a high um, PR score. Now from that high PR score, I could then link that out to the rest of my website, which is going to give them a little bit more juice. And so you always want to be looking um, if you're doing affiliate marketing. Um, so let's just say what I want to search for. Groove. Um, groove funnels. Right. So what you have right here is you have various different adverts. So they come in first. Right. So the adverts go here. And as you can see, they're paying a small fortune for them. Right. Now, Groove will actually be getting this a lot cheaper because they're very, very relevant, um, obviously. But as you keep on going down here, right, then you can actually see the domain authority, 35, and estimated vidiot, um, estimated vidiots, um, visits, vidiots, what? Um, so the estimated vidiots, they get about visits, they get about 603 visits per day, um, per month, sorry. And they also get all that for Facebook and all the tags and all this sort of thing. So you can actually see all the different domain authority. I thought it would have been a lot higher than 35, actually. Um, so 58, this one just behind us, right, in Great Funnels Review. The reason why is because they have it in the thing here. Now, the reason why um, ClickFunnels is ranking, clever, uh, they've got a domain authority of 89, so they're going to rank no matter what they put up there because they're known as an authority site through Google. Now, if they put in a chatbot here as well, so if they put a little chatbot thing pop up here, it's going to give them even more engagement and probably take them to the 95%, which is huge. Um, not a lot of websites have that sort of um, pull. So as you can see, uh, even ClickFunnels is getting, so ClickFunnels is getting 283 visits per day from GrooveFunnels. So they're taking 283 people from GrooveFunnels straight over to ClickFunnels every day. So it's pretty damn awesome uh, for them. Now, next one, GrooveFunnels review, 31. Pretty easy to achieve. These aren't like really high figures and these are shocking. And then also want to try and rank our videos. With the videos, we want to put them .me link or want to take them directly to our landing pages, the landing page with the um, chatbot fitted on there as well. Right, so you've got all these various different bits. So you could do group funnels versus click funnels. Uh, search volume is 17, uh, 170 a month. Cost per click, never believe these cost per clicks. They don't, they don't actually mean anything. I'm positive of this. Uh, cost per click, it's saying here $16.30. That's not true. Uh, group funnels affiliate, 90 searches per month. We could easily go and get that one. Uh, Groove Funnels lifetime deal, still 40 months coming on that one. How to use Groove Funnels, 30 months a week. Well, we could target how to use Groove Funnels. Then we we'll go in and we could sell them the chatbot as well. Right? So we could say the chatbot fully integrates and blah, blah, blah. And you could do that just by sending them directly to my site. Or you could do a five day, um, five day setup. As I've said, any of you guys who's already got chat ammo and you're in my website, you can use any of my videos, any of my training videos, any of the videos that's in there. Make yourself up a five day thing. Um, I've already given you the template for it so you've got the template for your five day learning challenge and what you can do is you can go in there and you can change absolutely anything you want right so you can go to groove pages um i think this one's it don't mind i've got three of these um and 
go into these different days and add any videos that you can think of. Think of videos that's down your particular niche and get people in these videos. But also make sure you have your chat button here because you want to, you want to hook them once you get them in. So we're going to throw out a load of hooks. And once we get them into our chat bot, we can then tell them, mate, your new trainers up to date. And then we're starting, we're starting really getting in them. What's the extension showing the information? What is that extension showing the information? Um, which extension, sorry? Um, oh, the extension. So I know what you're talking about. Sorry, my bad. Um, that one here is just uh, Uber Suggest, right? Um, it's free. It's by Neil Patel. Um, and it's pretty decent. It's not bad at all. I've also got a keyword thingy here as well. Now, if I'm doing proper research, I will go into my keywords everywhere and do a search on that one because it's excellent. Right, so group funnels, we can go in there and it gives us more truer um, readings on it. So it kind of show what the trend is. So right now, trend's not too bad. It's fallen off a little bit. But this is the perfect way to go in and just clean up. But if you're going to be... If you're going to be using these for, um, let's turn off that again because I use bomb credits that tend to go mad. If you're using all these and you're going to go out and hit, say, groove funnels, say, for example, you want to go out and market groove funnels. First off, I'll pick a particular niche, right? So before you go into groove funnels, think of the niche that you want to go after and then use that particular niche. Don't just try and sell groove funnels. There's hundreds of people out there trying to do exactly the same thing. And it means you're going to be paying a fortune for the ads. But instead, what you can do, so let's go into this one. I'm waiting for an ad to be, this ad hasn't went live yet and I don't understand why. Um, it's very, very strange because so far it's shown as that has went live, but I'm not getting anything on it. And I know for a fact that those keywords have been searched for. Very strange. It's got me puzzled today. Right. But if you're going for looking for keywords and whatnot, think do is go into Google Ads. Google Ads will help you so much because you're getting the information fresh from the horse's mouth. So you can't get any better information than what you can for off Google Ads. So discover new keywords. I'm going to say um, real estate sales funnel right i'm gonna get results and as you can see right here um real estate sales funnels no searches um three month average where is the monthly searches right so average monthly search we've only got a load of tens here right not too bad um yeah so that's possibly worth going for all those keywords there but let's try something a little bit different um let's try real estate Landing page, real talk, landing page. So what I tend to do is I, I tend to use um, keywords everywhere. And yes, I'll then find the rough set of words that I'm going to look for. And I'll put them in here and then I'll see how many people are searching for it. So I'll go after a real landing page right now. I'm going to get uh, the, all these. Uh, one of them's high. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, and even the high one. It's still not giving us a price. So the highest price on there is six dollars uh, fifty-three, right? Six pounds fifty-three. Now, every time I've seen a six pound fifty-three, I'm getting an ad for round about ten pence a click, right? So the ten pence a click um, is nothing. It's well and truly worth getting people on because you're giving away a free sales funnel. Once you get them in for the free sales funnel, then you can start with the free, well, with the chat box and with the various different market, and you can show them how to market. Um, Facebook with Facebook ads and things like this. We can start charging for everything that you're making. So it means here per month, you'll get 20, 30, 40, uh, 50, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 140. And there's 52 pages of this, right? 140. So every one of these pages has got about 10 searches. So I will copy all of these. You just download the whole thing. Just download the CS, uh, CSV. Then I copy all them and I put them all into my um, Google ads. Now, with the Google Ads, I'll show you. Uh, let's have a look. So, affiliate, affiliate seven dollars. My mark, my the way I put these out is just bad, right? What I've actually done with this, um, I set this one up last night, which should have started running. I don't understand why it's not running yet. Um, so affiliate launch jack, and that one didn't really work. I didn't like that one. Um, I turned it off after a couple of days. Uh, this one here, negative keywords landing page, got 65 clicks on it. Cost per click was 0.6 pence. That's good. 97 clicks. Six pence. Um, expensive. 80 clicks, 22 pence a click. Didn't like that one very much at all. That was far too expensive. Just shocking. Right? These are really, really cheap traffic methods because what you're actually doing now is you're getting traffic in for next to nothing. Um, it's just like shockingly cheap and so easy to set up. And if you've got your chatbot in there, you're going to get cheap again, right? So your ads. So what I would actually do, um, 
well, I might as well go through this little. So if I was on my ads, what I would do is I would find my keywords that I wanted first, right? So I would go through my keywords. What did we say before? Groove funnels. Right, so let's have a quick look what groove funnels is. So we'll do a keyword planner. Go into groove funnels. Groove funnels. Groove mill. Groove sell. Right. I remember I would niche down on this so before you take this as gospel. Right, so you're going to get 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all the way down, right? All of these various different tutorials, eight pages of it. So I would copy that, download that, and I would open it up in one of my Google Sheets, right? From there, I'll copy the whole thing. I would then go into my Google Ads and would say a new campaign, right? So what's your campaign objective going to be? Well, this one, it's going to be um, to get people on your website. So we want sales, but think through think through this pretty carefully. If somebody's looking for Groove, we want to give them something that's going to be free, right? Because we always want to get them into our ecosystem. So this is why I'm always going about this opt-in page and you must build an opt-in page and collect their email addresses and get them on Messenger and all this sort of thing. Because if we pay in six pence for everybody to come and visit our page, the last thing we want them to do is then drop off and go somewhere else. We don't want them to buy off anybody else, we want them to buy off us. So we're going to give them something for free. So. For these people who's looking for Groove, what I would do is I would go in here, I would do my five-day thing, but I would do five great five days basic Groove training. So I would do day one, um, connect with your Groove, how to put um, your, your you own URL in there and things like this, and use that as an affiliate link as well. So right, when you've got this, um, how to set up your own URL, you would then send them off to Namecheap or whatever one you've got an affiliate program for. So you put the link in. So as you can see underneath here, um, download your opt-in, uh, mini with training strange right uh get the software so all of these this is like linked to mine so if you put this in then you would link it to your affiliate right and this is what we'll do all the way through if we give them more value than everybody else when it comes for you to actually start charging for things so when we do have the membership site become payable then what you can then do is these people are in like now know like and trust you so you can start sending them a load of other stuff if obviously you aren't just sending them messages that says buy my stuff because that doesn't work that sounds like a boogie call. It's a very bad idea. Um, but you can like, start sending them something. So with this particular ad, I would find something that they would want for free. So the first day I would have set up URLs, um, how to build a basic page on this day, uh, set up your email marketing, um, do something, something else. And day five, I would then say, add in a chatbot to your groove. Right? So then they're going to go, well, the chatbot looks awesome. I need that. Send them the chatbot trims. So they're going to get that as well. And then now all of a sudden you've now got a customer for Groove. So you made five hundred odd dollars here um, when they've paid for Groove and they've upgraded. Right. And that's a lot of six pence. A lot of people you can send for six pence when you make you know, five hundred odd dollars back. Um, and then you're also going to get on day five, you're going to get paid off me as well. So you've now got two lots of sales. So you're going to be looking at around about six, seven hundred dollars for five dollar, five pound a day spend on your ad spends. Right. This is the way you want to think about it. But on your front end, once they're going to this bit, right, where was it? Once they're going from this landing page, right? What we want to do on this landing page is we want to send them in an offer bump, right? That's not landing page. That's the landing page, right? So we want to send an offer bump. So when they click on the chatbot or whatever, they're going to be interested in Groove. So what else can we sell them that's near Groove that we can sell them as a, a little order bump? Well, if they're interested in Groove, then they're going to be very interested in the likes of marketing. So what sort of marketing things would be interesting? Well, they might be interested in um, what's the most successful Facebook ads, what's the most successful YouTube ads. Just so happens, I've already put them all together. So I can now offer them as an order bump. So I can have this little page here, and there's a little pop-up that says, here we go, there's your order bump, and drops a gun. So very much like I've done on this one. So... Right here, we put a strange order bump in this one. It should actually be on a separate page, but I'll show you it anyway. How not to do it. Right. So this one, um, where are we at? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, that one. Right. So this one right here, uh, this is unlimited traffic to your affiliate programs. So we've got the basic setup. Um, I haven't actually put the chatbot in here yet. But there will be a chatbot going in this one. So it's got Dear Entrepreneur, um, all that rubbish, all the normal junk. Um, it's your type to see results. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to list what's in the site, right? All this is for $7, right? I'm actually charging for this one. Um, that can go on the journey. You don't need that there. And then we start with the bonuses. 
So we're going to start delivering more bonuses, even though it's free. Well, even though it's $7, we're going to give them bonuses. So it's worth to them $700. They're going to see it and go, well, I'd be stupid not to. So get a free mini course to use as their own lead magnet. Now that's huge. Um, because if you've ever done affiliate marketing, you need a good lead magnet um, to get people onto your course. And obviously you guys have got this as well. Um, your affiliate library. So you get all them delivered to you as well. Uh, you get your ClickBank affiliate marketing, get all that delivered to you. Uh, you get your Warrior Plus affiliate marketing, all that's delivered to you. We've got a little review here. We've got what you received today. So we're running back through the order again. And then we've got the payment thing. And if we look at the actual published one, bum, ba -da -bum, then what we've got is we've got a little order bump in here too. Right, so... This ad, once it finally starts running, will be costing me around about, I would think about six pence, right, to run. Now, say out six pence, um, that's going to take what, 100 people before I spend six pound. Um, yeah, 100 people before I spend six pound, right? So that's 100 people going to land on my page, which will cost me six pound. And this very first part is worth seven pound. So out of 100 people, I only need 1% of people to buy, right? So 1% of people, I'm set. Now, that's seven dollars. If you come further down here, there's a little order bump. So they can only have the $7 one or they could pick this launch jack and step by step. You guys can have this launch jack as well. So you can use it too. Um, so you've got it as well. So you can use it your own order bump um, because I want you to make money. I want you to go out and spend money on um, ads and start getting really serious about this. And if that means me giving you the order bumps to get you started, I'm going to be showing you in the trends how to make your own and things like this. But if it means me giving you the order bumps to get you guys started, then I don't mind doing that. At the end of the day, if you sell more chat ammo things, it's a win-win situation. So I'm giving you as much as what I possibly can. In fact, while I'm on here, I might as well go in and actually make that bloody thing work because it wasn't working before, was it? Right. So what I was saying as well, um, you've got the membership site here. If you want any of the videos, then you can use the videos. Please ask us though before you use them. Don't just go mental and start pulling all my videos <laughs> Pull on my videos and give away my full um, courses because that's not good. Um, but the rest of it, if you want to build up your own particular thing, then you can do that. Um, so we're going to go here. Uh, go into... Let's get those accessible tiers. Come on. Don't want that. Right. Don't want that. I want this. Right, so access levels. Um, so we've got day three. Put that one in. Um, where was the launch jacket? Right, so there's a launch jacket in there for you as well. I don't know why I put that. Oh, that's why, because I was selling it. Um, right, so I'll turn that back off, actually. So you guys have already got, um, there's two. Actually, no, I'll keep it on, what the hell. Right, um, so we're selling that. And if they come in, then they're going to see it anyway, so it's not a problem. Right. So you can use any of these. Now, if you want the actual codes for them, all you need to do is go into your membership site. And then from your membership site, so let's have a quick look. See if I can get in there. Nope, that's not how to do it. So login is a min. Uh, cut URL. So you've already got the landing page already made out, so you just need to drop your videos in there. Um, really, really simple stuff. And what you can do is you can just simply click on share, take this number right here, the back end of the number, and this back end of the number, you then post it, paste it into your um, groove site or whatever site you want to do. So click on share. We only copy this part of it. All right, control C. And then we can go in and we can put in any groove pages that we want to do. So straight away, you've now got yourself another bump. So you can start actually running ads and running Facebook ads and getting people into it and getting people interested. So you could turn... A Facebook ad today, um, I can't do a Facebook ad today, would work a treat. Um, but you could run a Facebook ad right now with an order bump in there. So you could have something, um, you could give away that training for free, for example, right? You could then have an order bump for $7, right? Um, for launch jet. And so you could go out and target affiliate marketers today, um, use the chat and more thing, go in there and really target it down, or go for real, or go for whatever you want it to go for, run this ad. And just use the basic ad to get people straight into the whole object. Once you get them in there, have an order bump in there as well. So the order bump, really, really simple to do. I'll show you how, guys, how to do that as well. Um, so order bump, really simple to do. If you're doing it in chat ammo, then you would just make a little um, shop up. Just put a little order bump in there. And it would say, would you like this for $7 or whatever you want to pay? 
right? Whatever you want to charge. Um, now to make the payment gateway in here, I'll show you this one first and then I'll go into chat. I'm going to show you. Right, so to make a funnel, um, you just go in here, click on new product funnels, right? Uh, click on this bit and you would name your product funnel and then it guides you all the way through, all right? So, right, I can't spell it again. Uh, test, 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 and create product funnel. That's not the letters, yes it is. Right, so we've got front end product and it tells you exactly what to do. So your first one, information, what you're gonna call it. Um, so we're gonna call that test. Right, um, save and next. I'm going to put in your various different price points. Right, you're going to click down here. Is it one time? Is it recurring? Is it installments? Is it recurring installments? Is it pay your own price? Um, you can enable a trial if you want to. It's completely up to you. And then you can click your initial price and all the rest of it. Right, uh, save and next. Right, test. Um, so save and next. Gateways. You know, PayPal, obviously put your PayPal in if you've got PayPal. I haven't anymore because I'm banned from PayPal as well. Um, you're not allowed to take money on PayPal. If you start making decent money, then PayPal block your account and keep your money. It's a bit of a sickness. Um, so I'm going to try to get my money back with PayPal. In there. So you can put your Stripe in there. And I would also suggest going in for Groove Cell payments as well. So I'll just put that in there and save it next. Next, you have your sales page. So what page are going to land on? Put that in there so you can start tracking them. And you have your thank you page, which can be any page that you want. Right, got a refund period. Always make that around about 14 days or 30 days. And put a little buffer period on there as well, just to make sure. Right, um, next is your checkout. Oh, man. Um, 30. Right, next is your checkout. I should not let this do it. Um, Right. Now we check our page. Really, really simple again. Um, just pick whatever sort of image. I like this one. Um, I tend to always use that one. You've got your form fields. If it's free, don't bother asking for any of these. Because you want as seamless as possible. If you're charging them, and obviously you want all of them, and you get cheaper while well, you get more um more benefits from the different card um the different payment platforms. You got your express checkout, I always just use that one. You got your cart abandonment if you want to put an integration in there. You got your custom CSS tree, your legal stuff, quality and passwords. Do you want to give them a password when they're in there? Um, we don't. So keep on going. Now, do, <clears throat> do we want to press a lot of bump? Oh, that's coming very soon. Um, post a lot of bump. So we can do an order bump all the way through there. So you just add another page, which is order bump page, and just drop it in there. Really, really easy. Um, Funnel post transaction URL, right? That's all cool. Fulfillment, how are you going to actually give them it? So you're going to give them a membership. You just click on your membership and you click on whichever membership you want them to have. And then you set the access level, right? Really cool. Integrations, and if you've got integrations with After Campaign or any of the other things, you can integrate that straight away. You've got your web hooks. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm sure there's a way to do, an easy way to do um, Groove for you. Right. Uh, you got your affiliate, so if you want an affiliate program, this way you can add this. So you can start going into here and commission overrides. So if you get a really, really big affiliate and you want to give them more affiliate payments, you would do that. Just click on this little bit and add what sort of percentages you want. Save and next. And uh, you got your little proof widget, really help with your conversion, so worth putting in a proof widget. And then you've got your finish. So this would be your whole track code. Right? So that's on Groove. Now, if you're doing it on hours, so let's have a quick look. Close some of these down. Now, on ours, we have complete e-commerce. Now, our e-commerce actually, I would argue, better than Grooves, right? Because we we go into a massive amount of detail around us. So, <clears throat> the various features on here. So, first off, you've got your create store. Right, I'll just take you through the various different bits first, and then I'll show you how we're doing it all. So, we've got your dashboard here, so it'll tell you all of your earnings, it'll rack up all your earnings all the way through. So, it'll always keep you informed of how much um, you're making within your chatbot and how much it's costing you to make. Next, you've got all of your orders, so every order that's been down here. We've also got these approved things, right? So we can change these to approved, completed, and so on and so forth, right? So we can just boom, and success, right? So now it's complete. So we'll mark everything that we've actually sold as done, which makes life so much easier. Right, we can do the store settings. So we've got um, chat on a lifetime deal. That's obviously going to come down very shortly. Uh, phone number, United Kingdom, all of the rest of the stuff that we need. 
We've also got Facebook Pixel. So yeah, add your Facebook Pixel in here. Always add your Facebook Pixel. And make sure that it's always going to be there. And your Google Analytics. So make sure you add your Google Analytics because then you can get feedback and you know exactly how much you're making per ad spend, which is always important. Now, you've also got your terms of service and refund policy. So you can put both those in there as well. And you can have it online, right, or offline if you've run out of stuff, right? So you can sell physical or digital products, um, which you actually get a little choice. I can't seem to find it at the minute. Um, where is the little choice? There's a little choice anyway. Oh, it's going to create a store, man. That's why. So when you create a store, it'll actually say, do you want to sell digital or physical? If it's digital, you can just do a direct download from the store. Right, so next we've got payment integrations, right? So we've got all these various different bits. So we can integrate anything we want. So we've got Stripe keywords. We've got the um, PayPal. Let's get rid of that because it doesn't work anymore. We've got all these other payment integrations like we've shown you before. Uh, we've got payment options. So which checkouts do I want to actually show? Um, do I want to accept uh, cash on delivery or do I want to do something else? Well, I don't want to accept cash on delivery because it's a physical product. And do I want to add a manual checkout? So that could be the whole like of transfer the money straight to my bank account. Um, I can do different currencies, so I can have any currency I want. So I could actually target different countries. This actually really works as well. Um, and then sell them in their particular currency, which you will find your conversions work really, really well. So you have an English store, French store, and have each store made up um, taking their particular cash, right? Because even though everybody will buy off US dollars, if you have an option where they can see it in pounds and you sell it in the UK, you'll sell a lot more because people know exactly what the, the rates are. So it makes life very easy. You've also got your tax and delivery charge. So have you got any taxes, right? Delivery charge actually further down because we've done different. But does your company charge taxes? Do you need to add the tax on? Um, are you doing this for another shop? Are you setting up somebody else's shop? Then if so, your tax, this can be your payment. So you can say 3%. Right, and straight away, this 3% is going to be taken separately. And then you just say, right, okay, well, I invoice you 3%. I want my money. Um, otherwise, I'm taking away your shop. You got your delivery preferences. So this is if you were doing likes of a takeaway. So what you could do, you could enable preparation time. So we'll say 30 minutes. And that's time unit minutes. Right, we're going to do schedule order. Don't want to schedule them. Right, again, if you were doing takeaway, um, then do you want to make them short schedule today, today, and tomorrow, one week's time, or whatever you fancy? That's all done. Your login preferences, guest purchases, want that enabled. If that's not enabled, then you can only buy if they're already signed to Facebook. So I always enable that. Um, makes life very easy. Address preferences, I just leave all these ticks. Um, really, really simple. And do I want to sign labels? So I can now track everybody who's bought whatever they bought. So I now know how these people are buyers which then helps us further on. Right, what's got business hours settings? So if you're doing a bricks and mortar kind of store, you can set the business hours whenever you want. If you're a digital store, you're always open. Let the chatbot do the work. Just relax. Right, you've also got your marketing. So you can add a Facebook pixel, Google pixel, um, all your various different courses can go into here. So it's all quite cool. And we've also got this e-commerce builder. This I would say go in and play with because um, there's an awful lot of settings I need to just to change the look of the thing. So basically it's all about looks. So only worry about the look bits you don't need to worry about anything else, such as adding products that we've got in there. Um, you can actually do them all in the chat, but in the e-commerce bit, so it's easier. Right, so you've got your categories. This is the likes of, um, I'll use restaurant as an example. Uh, so you've got your likes of shirts, tops, uh, jumpers, jackets, um, underwear, things like this. Um, for restaurants, you've got starters, mains, sweets, things such as this, and you can set them all up in your various different categories. And you've also got your tributes. And what your tributes are is the added extras. So we'll use restaurant one again. Um, we could have fries and extra. And so for fries, we could charge an extra $2. Um, we could have cabbage extra. Cabbage. And we're going to have anything at all we want as an extra. And they would just be added as a tribute. And we can set different um, financial nominations to any of your tributes. Financial nominations. Wow. I can tell we over last night. Right. You've got your products, which is actually the mainstay of everything. Um, so that's all cool. You can visit the store. So remember, like I said, it's a URL. So it can be linked directly from your website as well. If you don't want to send it through the chatbot, I would always send it through the chatbot though. You've got your various different delivery points. So these are various tables. So if you have these set up on tables, what you can now do is you can have a QR menu per table. All right. So we'll say um, we want a QR code for table one. We print this QR code out, put that on table one. If somebody comes into place, they can scan it and they can see the full menu 
and from there can order the food and we know exactly which table they've done. So straight away we're saving on manpower. We don't have to have waitresses taking the orders. We can send the orders directly to the kitchen and it's sent straight to their Facebook page. It's all cool. We can also do coupons. Um, so we can make many coupons that we want. So you can add a coupon, really, really easy. So you can either put percentage, do you want on fixed cart, um, or which products do I want them on? Um, do I want percentage, fixed cart, or fixed product? So I can sell which I want I want. Coupon code, just make up anything. Coupon amount, so we'll say 20%. Expiry date, so we can put an expiry date, we'll say for Monday, and max usage limit, one. That's it. That's that simple, right? Um, then we just free shipping. You can have free shipping if you want to. And all of that. So that's done. Really that simple. Um, just shockingly, shockingly easy. Right? Sign up customers. So everybody who's actually signed up here before um, and what they've bought should have. Copy the URL. Now these here, um, I can do the order URL. So this is the buyer orders page. The product URL, one product here. Otherwise, we just put the various links in. So in the website, I could have these direct links, which would then take them straight to the pages. Uh, legal URL, the widget, blah, blah, blah. We don't need widget. That's basically your iframe, so you can put it all into your website. Nice and easy. Uh, we've got the order status notification. And this is where we can send out a message via messenger, SMS, or email. So we can have order approved. We can have order rejected. We can have order shipped. We can have order delivered. Or we can have order complete. So we can send out all of these various messages and increase engagement because then Facebook's going to see all this engagement coming on. It's awesome. Let's plug this page a bit more. The more you engage with customers, the more Facebook's going to show your page off. So you've got your confirmation reminder. So this is where you can ask them if they would like to leave a review. Um, although we have got review flow, so I'll just use a review flow. Um, but you've got various different bits. So you've got um, after one hour, you can do whatever you want with these various different reminders. You've got your reminder report, so it'll tell you exactly what's went out. You've got your delivery methods. So do I want... Um, delivery or store pickup, so you put active or inactive, right? Depending on if you pick some water. We've got the shipping zones, which we've just added, which is quite cool. Um, so we can put in the various different shipping zones. We can just add, put in another zone name, choose the country, search for the type of state, and store pickup or delivery. So we just turn on whichever one we want, right? So that's all in there as well. And we can delete the store, right? We tend not to press that one very much. Uh, and that's a quite a that's quite a simple store. This one here, um, I'll show you quickly. We've actually got in here uh, quite a few more. So we've got different categories. Uh, so we've got breakfast, uh, cereal infused milkshakes, morning fuel, main menu, loaded hot dogs, Davies ice cream sandwich shakes, and sides, right? All of these various different things. And we've also got tributes in here as well. So we can add fries, home cooked fries, and we can make that active on any of the products. So when we go to the product, We'll go on to this one and we'll just edit the product. So we can put any picture that we want in there. Um, we can do original price and we can put a sales price so we can have a sale on whenever we want to. Now we can also do an upsell or a downsell. So if somebody's bought, what is it, loaded fries, they might want a hot dog with it. So an upsell product, we would say, do you want a hot dog? Um, so white dog, whatever we want to do. So we can put in whatever we want in there as well, right? So now we can do upsells within your chat box. This is something else that not a lot of things have on the e-commerce side. We can also do a downsell, right? So if they're getting this, we could say, right, okay, well, the upsell could be a hot dog, downsell, do they want a kind of Coke with it? So we're increasing the turnover, we're increasing your value to your customer straight away. So as soon as you've gone out and selling this, you've got a much more increased value. Right, um, sides, so we've got all that little lot. We've got the tributes, we can have the pictures in here. We can put how many items is in stock. So we'll say we've got 100 dirty fries today. Do I want to display the stock? And do I want to prevent it? So when they run out, then that just disappears off the whole menu. So you're not going to get any fake orders. We're not going to have to um, 89 anything on the restaurant menu. So we're all cool there. Um, is it taxable? So not for here. Um, do I want it featured? So we can have a main product as soon as they come on. So we'd obviously sell the biggest product. And that's it. You've got like all these different things. So we'd add an attribute. So we'll say this attribute here. And we're going to add fries to it. There's a load of fries. So I don't know why we add fries. But we can say that we're going to add another $3 on. Right, so $3 on there. And 350 on this one. Right. Now we've got fries as well. So we can add fries if they want to. They can do absolutely anything. So we've got a whole lot all in here. Um, it really is quite cool. I do like this particular bit. Um, 
Now, we've also got the broadcasting, like I said, broadcasting is Messenger, SMS, and email. And you've also got your broadcast sequences, right? So these are for your external contacts. So you can get your broadcast message out there, get eyes on your prize, get people in, get them buying, the most important part. Right, you've got your, um, bum -bum, you've got your image editor, right? So we've got two image editors. So this one's like Adobe, um, Adobe Darkroom. Imagine Adobe Darkroom here. It's quite similar to that. Um, which I think is about another $27 per month and um, what Adobe charges you for it. So this one, you can do absolutely all sorts. You've got the various different cropping tools and things like this. Um, you've got your little play buttons on that. Um, you've got all these various different parts that you can sit and play with. And we do have also uh, search images so you can find the images that you want in here. So you can do a clock and just search that. It's going to give us a load of stuff. So all these images are all there for you as well. They're all from Picabay. Um, so they're all usable, they're all licensed, they're all cool. Um, the other thing that we've got, slightly different image editor. This one is a little bit more Canva kind of thing. It's just a nice, simple one that can be used no time at all. Right. Um, where are we up to? Um, that's those one, right? So we've got the social posting we went through earlier on. GMB manager. Now, this one's going to be coming very shortly as well. Um, this is going to keep complete control of all of your Google... Um, reviews and things like this. So you've got your account import. I'm collecting any accounts yet. I need to get the Google thing, the torch to get hold of. They're driving me nuts. Got the interest explorer. We start finding out various different interests. So we find out more um, for our Facebook ads and get them all going as well. Um, we have bum, 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 the command stuff. This is where you can create your own to do lists, things such as this. Really, really good idea. Something I would strongly suggest, which I never kind of do. I kind of forget what I'm on doing. Um, so for me, it's particularly good. You've got your search tools, and this is another one that's really quite interesting as well. So you've got Interest Explorer, which is what we've already been through. You've got your website comparison. Now, what you can do with this is you can look at the various different, you can look at two different competitors, right? So you can put both their um, websites in there. From there, hit search. So let's do um, groove.cm, and let's do click funnels. Funnels.com. I might need a HTTPS. So HTTPS and HTTPS. Now what we can do, so say this is a normal business down your high street. What we can now do is we can see exactly how well this particular business is done. So um, they've only had 570 shares, whereas they've had 796 thousand shares right uh so we can go to these different companies so if this was a restaurant down the road or whatever i could walk in the restaurant and say right look you know the restaurant down the road look this is what they've got this is what you've got we can change all this round for you if you want right so we've got the update the time oh very strange both updating the same time um description well, click funnels hasn't actually done the description so there's a buying point straight away um so you could go in and say click funnels but actually they don't rank um, so click funnels, you, you can't really rank them, so that wouldn't really work. Um, but that is a good way to go out and get yourself some new customers as well. Um, I use it quite a lot. It's awesome if you're actually going into various places. Watch if you go into a restaurant, I've done this myself, and you'll go onto their website page. I guarantee the manager or a waiter is going to come over you very, very quickly and ask what you're doing. And then you can start showing this sort of thing. And it's them coming to you, so it's, it makes life so much simpler. Uh, right, we've also got hashtag search. So we can go in there. And search of various different accounts. So this one, provide hashtag. Do and search. So we can go in and check out various different hashtags and find out all this sort of thing of what is scoring high in hashtags. So for tattoo, I could go and copy this picture, put it on my Instagram because we know it's performing really well. And this basically lets us show the whole lot. So we've got a lot more stuff in here as well. So we can kind of cheat our way to winning because we're going to have everything in one place nice tattoos right uh, so that's about everything that we've got into chat ammo right so that's like that's our mainstay stuff now I did want to show finish off showing you um, Google Ads where is it at so Google Ads <clears throat> we started on this and then I never finished that. right so first off um, I'll pick what I want to do. So do I want to make sales, leads, uh, website traffic? Well, if I can give away something free, I'll just go for website traffic. Right? I'll, I'll go for sales. It doesn't really make a difference. Now, if I'm doing a YouTube video, I always do it this way, but we'll go through 
um, the Google Ads bit first. Right, so first off, select a campaign type. So I do I want search, performance, uh, maximum, display, shopping, video, discovery, whichever one. Well, I want search, right? I don't really like the other ones too much, and I want website visits. And I'll do for that. Right, my average daily budget. Well, I only like spending $5. Oops, $5 per day. Right, we're going to put £5 per day. It says that everybody else spends £12, right? I don't care. Um, it doesn't bother me. If it runs, it runs. If it doesn't, it's fair enough. Right, and then next it. Right, now I want all countries, as long as they're speaking English. So that's all cool. So next that one. And next one, we've got keywords. So I can either go out and I can either go and take the keywords off another website. So I could do um, GTPS. Templates. Dot net. Net. And then I will go and get the keyword. All right. So go and find them all. I don't even know if I've keyworded this up or not yet. Yes, I have. Right. So we've got all these various different keywords that I've used through there. Now, one thing I would say is when you've done your keyword research on Google Ads, always make sure that the keywords you're going to try and go after, you have them on your page, right? So if you're trying to go after a particular keyword, if I was going after affiliate traffic, I would make sure I've got affiliate traffic scattered throughout my page a little bit. And then I would only make one page for affiliate traffic. So I wouldn't have too many conflicting keywords. And this is how we're going to get the keywords really, really cheap. So um, for Google Funnels, we're going to put uh, likes of chat and more. Um, many chat. What I want to do, because we don't want... If I was putting in complete phrase, so what's the best chatbot for? Then what I'll do is I'll also add these little um, brackets right here, the little square ones. And what that does, it means that these are the only words that's going to show for, right? So you don't have to worry about paying out too much. You've already set your budget. Now you've set your exact words. And then you just keep on going. So this is the other bit. Um, so you need to put a final destination URL, which is going to be your affiliate link, and display the path. So you can put a new pathway in here. So use this as advertising as well. So you would have free Groove Funnels training. In fact, that's probably a really good one to go after, um, Groove Funnels training, because then you're going to get them in the ecosystem and selling the chatbot really, really easy. Um, and so you know that they're possibly going to upgrade the Groove as well. Right, so we've got all that. Look. Um, next, you've got your new headline. So you want these words in your headlines, but they also give you suggestions, right? So give you ideas. So you've got your call and action phrases. You've got all the different things. And just try and make your headline sound a little bit interesting. Go in and search what other people are using, and then basically rip them off. Um, I must have run some words, funnel hack them. You're ripping them off. Uh, then you've got your descriptions. Descriptions are really cool. I use Jarvis for my descriptions. Um, I'll put a link. There's 10,000 keywords for free um, through my link, so that's always a cool thing. And that'll get all your descriptions written, um, so it's pretty cool. Now, after I've done all that little lot, I would then click on Next. Now, it's going to pop up. I can get one more click if I do site link extensions, right? You site extensions... If you've got a couple of pages that's set up, because I have to be on the same URL, well, if you have a couple of pages set up, so you could have, oh, excuse me, I've just spat it off my sweet. All right, so you could have um, Groove, Groove Pages Training, Groove Pages, uh, Groove Mail Training, Groove Such and Such Training, and you can put all these in as your site extensions. So you can have one ad, and it'll take up more space because you've got all of these various extensions underneath. But wouldn't do that. You need to click on Next, and then it's going to say, hey, here you go, and there's your whole ad right um your ads have been created yet right so obviously they would then go in and create the whole ad now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, cancel oh save for later right so now youtube ads even easier than those all right so new advert this one create a campaign without goals or guidance and um, we want it as a video boom i'm going to custom video campaign right so that's all cool Name your campaign, put in your maximum cost per view. And with cost per view on YouTube videos, you only get charged if somebody watches over 30 seconds. All right, so your first 30 seconds is free. If they hit the skip button, then you don't get charged before the 30 seconds is up. So that means that you've got an awful lot of scope that you can go out and sell. So if you're any good on video, go out and make the video and put the video up on YouTube and you're going to cream up. It's awesome. I love YouTube. Um, so you put your campaign total. Well, we're actually going to put daily. Put that in daily. We want the start date is today. We want all countries and territories. We want to select language, which is English. We can have standard delivery, standard inventory, 
or the other one, I tend to go for expanded, which makes life easy. Um, exclude types and labels. So types show all labels, content not yet labeled, I don't care. Um, related videos. So here we can target anybody. So if I was going for affiliate marketers, I would be like going for John Armstrong, um, Spencer Meekham, um, and all these kind of people. I would be targeting their videos. But I can also put in search terms as well, right? So I can put in the diff demographics. I don't bother with that. I put in the keywords. So the keywords it would be learn affiliate marketing, affiliate marketing for beginners, um, how to drive traffic for affiliate marketing, how to do this for affiliate marketing, how to do that, and I would just get all of these together and get the whole lot done. And in that way, I'm going to get a whole lot of traffic for almost nothing because these people are already searching for that on YouTube. I'm offering them a one-stop solution, and I've got my upsells as well. So all I need to do is just show my product in front of them in YouTube. So if they were looking for a chatbot, I can put up a YouTube ad all about my chatbot. And it's going to cost next to nothing. So all you do is you just put in your um, YouTube code there. It pop there. And ask you for a call to action. So your call for action is learn more or something similar to that. And then you're allowed, I think it's 10 characters. So I just put in 100% um, free or something easy like that. Now you can't use all capitals. So that's all cool. And you get an absolute stack of impressions. It's absolutely madness and um, when you see how many impressions you get it is so scary um so actually i have to see if i've got did i put that video up last night i've done um mm, mm, mm. i don't know if i did i didn't um let's see if i can get that video let's upload the videos let's have a quick look um bum, 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 bum. which one was it i don't sorry no uh Oh, 23 minutes. That's definitely not. Right. Hi there, guys. I'm so excited to have you. That one. Right. So we're going to open that one. <clears throat> but as well putting that up while we're on. Um, so that's going to be going up there. I'm going to get rid of all of this. Boom. I'm going to put a little link into HTTPS. Chat. Oh. Um, boom, 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 boom. If that will work anything at all, um, all the joy. Yeah, I hate doing those. Right, uh, seems like an issue. Something's happened. Right, we're back. Hey, right. Uh, so where was I up to? Sorry, guys, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to cut you all off there. Right, so we basically just set this up for seven dollar um, affiliate. I probably did a budget in for five dollars. We went through all that. The first one I selected. Um, oh no. No guidance and um, thing. Then I clicked on video. Then we're down this bit. Can I actually go back and show you his solutions? Uh, leave. Right. So let's run through it again. So I create a campaign without goals or guidance. I click continue. I already clicked that. Right. Uh, then I want video. Then I want custom video campaign. Continue there. I'm going to just name this um, seven affiliate because it's selling for seven dollars. So I know what, I know what it is. Not from that spell, I don't. Uh, maximum cost per view. I'm not really that bothered. But the, you, can, um, you can actually use your maximum cost per view as well to really sort of blast everybody else out the water. But I tend to do that too much because it just makes it easy. Right, so $5 is going to be me spend. I'm going to just do all countries and territories because 
it's a cheap end product. It was higher end product. Um, so it was Groove, and I was trying to sell Groove as the upgrade. I would then pick the countries and territories of being European, American, Australian, New Zealand, Ireland, place like this. So we'd have more of a coverage um, of the higher higher tier countries. So therefore, they can afford to buy. Right, um, start new language. I want more in English because I don't speak any other language. I barely even speak English. Uh, yes, chat, my lifetime plan is still on at the moment, um, but it will be going away tomorrow. Sorry, somebody's just on texting. I'm hoping they're watching the live. If they're not, I'm going to have to text them back. Right, uh, so this is going to be $7 affiliate. So $7 affiliate. Right, uh, age and demographics, I don't care. Um, so the demographics, we don't mind. Keywords. Now, just so happens. Uh, boom, 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 where are we at? Uh, Google Sheets. So I've got some keywords already in Google Sheets for affiliate marketing. So we know where we're at. Uh, go to Google Sheets. <clears throat> and the affiliate list should be where are we at. Affiliate market, affiliate traffic, affiliate marketing course. That should do it. Right. So that's what I keep on saying. Uh, all we're going to do is just grab that and just grab them. It really is that simple. Right. Now that's a hundred different keywords. <laughs> Slight overkill. Um, probably don't need a hundred different keywords in. I know for certainty I don't need a hundred different keywords in, but we're just doing it as a demo thing, aren't we? So we're going to go courses affiliate, and I'm going to use these, not them. I'm going to use these square uh, brackets, which all that does it just makes sure I'm not going to get charged. Small fortune because if you don't use these brackets, what they do is they charge you every time. We don't even know who that is. Um, if you don't use these brackets, then they charge you every time one of these words is used. So that's not a good plan because um, it will work out very, very expensive. And you won't have good targeted traffic, right, which is what we need. Um, we don't want to be wasting money on non-targeted. We want to be spending money on cool traffic. Um, if you decide to spend money at all. Obviously, this can all be done organically. Um, and what I would do if you are setting up a youtube channel i don't really bother with organic on youtube but if you are setting up a youtube channel the great thing to do is to um actually get the youtube channel on the go but only post about one subject so whatever your chosen niche is only post that particular subject right nothing else now i use surfer seo which will then give me um all of the keywords i can use within that particular thing so i know i'm going to get ranked if i use surfer seo um, I've also got a link for that as well somewhere. Right, uh, let's just go down here. I'm not going to put all these in there because that's just silly. Uh, Jimmy Zoo earnings, don't want that one. Uh, I'm going to use an affiliate. Oh, Christ. Right, a lot of these to do. Um, I should have done these actually before I put them in. Right. Um, I can't say one. I have done that myself. Right. Um, so all we're going to do is jump up there. Right. So let's delete all the rest of these. Right. There's more than enough there for me to get an awful lot of traffic to my offer. Um, so let's just put them out live. So I'll just show you exactly how we do it. Remember, these little square brackets are really, really important because you don't want to be paying for traffic that you don't want. So you're going to be a lot more careful with your keywords than what I am. Um, but always start off your affiliate marketing really cheap. So don't go above five dollars a day. Don't go above like don't go stupid and spend sort of ten quid a day and things like this because you don't know if the ad's going to work yet. Once I prove this um, landing page, then I will be moving up my ad budget. But I'm only going to move my ad budget by about 20% every we'll wait a week before I actually do anything and then I'll be moving up 20% every sort of four to five days so we'll kind of have um, a good little amount of information by then and if this ad's taken off massively then I'll just keep on increasing it and what we're actually looking at doing is we're looking to at least double our money um, so if I put 100 quid in I want at least 200 pound back out 
Um, however, with the prices that we get, most of the market are for, it's a lot more like you put $1 in, you get $7 back out again, right? So it's always a good idea. Um, it's very, very rare that next, that you're going to actually find something really bad. Don't look possessed. Um, but I'm an ugly looking fella. Right, copy that. Uh, let's get that straight in there. So, done. And skippable in, in stream ad, because remember, if they if they watch over 30 seconds of it, uh, then that's the only time we can get charged. Uh, where did I put the page? Reload. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Uh, we want the Philip Market and Paid. That one. And we want that link. And back to Google Ads. I can't find nothing today. Right, back to there. Badoom. Display URL. That will do. I don't want copy too written on it. Uh, call to action. So, learn more. Uh, headline. Best affiliate. Hmm. Here's only having 15. Uh, why only 15? It makes no sense. Uh, best affiliate. You can't really put anything in there. Um... Uh, that's pretty sad, that one, right? Um, seven affiliate. Right, maximum cost per bid. Right, now, so far I'm going to get 1.2 billion impressions. So that's not too shabby. Uh, maximum bid. Now, this isn't the amount that you're going to actually pay. Um, you put down your maximum bid basically to outbid other people. But your maximum bid actually you never pay this amount so i'm going to say 50 pence right that's 50 quid i'm not going to say 50 quid um but remember i've only put five pound in so if i only put five pound in so i'm going to get the cost per click is going to be between zero and three pence the budget spend is going to be 100 budget spend and i'm going to reach unique people every day 5.1 thousand all right or 22 thousand right so somewhere between these so for five dollars a day, my message is getting in front of five thousand people. That's pretty damn good, and we quite like that sort of ad for five quid. <clears throat> and this is if you start doing this sort of thing regularly. Oh, what? Uh, Kilos can contain what's? <coughs> Where's a container? Um, right. I can't actually see I'm that. Um, there's the extra characters. Oh, that one there. Little bit there. Right. Uh, um, right. So that's it all set up. Um, we've got a nice reach on it. We've got a decent amount of reach on it. We're going to be looking good. If people start buying, continue the campaign. We're going to have our chatbot working its little socks off for us. Um, so that's going to be cool. That's my ad group enabled. I'm going to go back. I don't know why this other ad isn't working which is a bit annoying. Um, this one here, that should be actually running by now, and it's not. And I don't like why it's not running. Uh, not that one. Uh, the other one. That's me. I want to just put that one up. Uh, Google Ads. Uh, discard that one. Um, bum, 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 bum. So that's the one. All right. Enabled. Why isn't it getting any traffic? I don't know, it's all set up right. Uh, see, not a single one, and I know for certain fact people would search best affiliate programs because there's an absolute stack of people searching best affiliate programs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause that one altogether. Um, oh, it's a bit of a bugger. I didn't want to pause that one, but we'll pause that one. I'll come back and I'll make another one. Um, sometimes Google goes a little bit mental. Um and it kind of just tells you that they've got ads running and it hasn't, which is really quite annoying because then you don't know what you've got running and what you haven't got running. Why is that still saying enabled? I've just told it pause. Pause. Right. Um, so then, guys, uh, that's about it for today. So um, go out, share your affiliate links. Uh, you can grab them at chatamo.com forward slash JV pages, 
page or funneltemplates.net um, JV page. And those ones you can put on top of the videos, you can put anywhere you want and get some sales in for yourselves, guys. Right, thanks for watching and speak soon. In fact, I'll be back on tomorrow um, doing more rubbish. So also, any questions at all that you want to ask us for tomorrow, and we'll go through any questions. I should be back prepared today, but unfortunately, um, with us having the huge problems earlier on, um, and we did have a massive setback. So if you've got any problems at all, um, if you want to ask us any questions, please add the questions um, underneath this or in the group, or even on my page or send them personally. And I will answer all questions tomorrow. Um, if you want particular guidance on a particular niche that you're on going through, and if it's something I can help with, then I will help you as much as I can. Right, thanks so much for watching, guys. And uh, speak soon. Cheers. Bye.